Hello everyone, in part 1 we have seen types and structure of carbenes and for part 1 please click on the link appearing on the screen that is the top right corner okay and also I will request to check the important playlist link that you will find in the description box. Properties of carbenes that is part 2 today's topic. First we will compare singlet versus triplet carbenes. So two types of carbenes are there that we have already seen in the first part. One is singlet, another one is triplet. And today we will also see why their names are so. That is why we are calling singlet as singlet, why the triplets are called triplet. Okay. So singlet, the first point as we can see, it can be electrophilic in nature, it can be nucleophilic and also ambiphilic. That means simultaneously it is acting as electrophilic or nucleophilic. But when it is triplet, it will be having di-radical type of nature because there are two unpaired electrons present. In general, that is most of the time, it is observed, singlet is the excited state species. That means singlet will be having more energy compared to triplet. But again, I am saying it is in general. So that is what is mentioned here, in general. We will also see examples where singlet may be also the uh, ground state that is uh, more stable state. In general, triplets is more stable state, obviously, compared to singlet. So, when I am saying more stable state, that means it will be the ground state. Fine. So, if you look at this right-hand side diagram here for CH2, that is, if you consider the simplest carbene that is possible, that is both side the R groups, here we have two hydrogen atoms. So, in this case, for simple hydrocarbon, Triplet carbenes, it is observed that they are having 8 kilocalorie per mole or in terms of kilojoule, 33 kilojoule per mole lower energy compared to singlet carbene. So, this energy gap that is 8 kilocalorie or 33 kilojoule per mole but remember that is only for simple hydrocarbon. So, in this case we have taken the simplest carbene possible. The R group here is H. Both side uh, two R groups both are H. Okay. So, this is example. So, mostly for simple hydrocarbons, it is an observation, but we will also see exception. Some more points that we can compare for singlet and triplet. Singlet states show extreme high reactivity. Now, this is, this is expected because we have already seen it is uh, excited state species. So, obviously, it will have more reactivity and are capable of reacting even with very inner site. That means, the other uh, reaction partner, even if it is very inert, then also reaction is possible because singlet state, it is itself very highly reactive. For example, if you want any CH bond to take part in reaction, which is in, uh, that is, we know it is not very active to break CH bond. That is, CH bond is taking part in reaction in organic chemistry. That is very rare. But when you are using singlet carbene, that is also possible. Triplet states, even though less useful as reactive intermediate because their reactivity compared to singlet is low. So, they are less useful as reactive intermediate because of their sluggishness but attract much more attention as a spin source. So, there is another application for triplet. Some more points. Singlet carbines occur more often in aqueous media. Okay. But triplet carbenes, they will be stable in gaseous state. Singlets are diamagnetic because we know there is no unpaired electron. Two electrons, they are in paired condition. So, obviously, it will be diamagnetic. But triplet carbenes, because of presence of two unpaired electron, they are paramagnetic. And that is the reason we can use electron spin resonance in short ESR spectroscopy uh, for their uh, characterization. Okay if they persist long enough. So, for uh, if we want to perform this spectroscopy, there must be some uh, stability. So, if there is pers uh, they can persist for some time, obviously, we can apply this spectroscopy. Total spin of singlet carbine is 0, but for triplet carbine, it is 1. Now, if we apply the formula for spin multiplicity, that is n plus 1, you can also use another formula which is 2s plus 1, but this is uh, simpler compared to that one. n plus 1, what is small n? Here small n is basically number of unpaired electron. 
so when it is singlet we know number of unpaired electron is zero but when it is triplet number of unpaired electron that is two so if we now apply this formula it will be zero plus one for singlet so spin multiplicity is one so that is why the name is singlet carpet fine and for triplet n plus one now according to this formula it will be two plus one that means three so that is why the name is triplet so this is the reason why we call this as singlet and triplet okay now as i have said that in general it is true singlets are more reactive fine but nature of substituent that also affects ground state spin multiplicity that means ground state it will be singlet or triplet that is actually spin multiplicity that we have already uh, just calculated using the formula n plus 1 so ground state spin multiplicity is it triplet or singlet that is dependent on the nature of substituents that means if you consider the general formula for carbene rcr then what is the nature of this r group uh, that is that we have to consider and here when we i am saying effect it may be inductive effect it may be mesomeric effect and also steric effect fine so let's see when singlet is the ground state spin multiplicity it will be observed if the substituents that are attached to the carbon electron withdrawing in nature okay so r c r now if these r groups their electron withdrawing group then it will be singlet ground state another possibility is if the substituents attached to the carbon carbon they are having some non bonding electron pairs donor ability pi donor ability so see this is the example here this x it may be oxygen it may be nitrogen or it may be halogen we know in all these three cases there are lone pair and that is the reason this type of resonance is possible so here it is basically uh, pi donation which is possible for all these type of groups nr2 or it may be ome oat like this then sr fluorine chlorine bromine and so all these are halogens here this is general expression the first diagram the second one you can actually see the two r groups it is halogen that is chloride okay so in this case singlet will be the ground state and when triplet is the ground state if the substituents attach to the carbon carbon they are electron donating groups in nature not just any electron uh, electron donating group via the sigma bond because here also you can see some donating effect but that is pi donation but now i am saying electron donating effect via sigma bond so that is the reason if you see any alkyl or dialkyl carbene we know alkyl groups suppose methyl ethyl very simple they are having some uh, sigma donating capacity so that is the reason when r groups they are alkyl or that is dialkyl that is both side there is some alkyl groups in that case triplet will be the ground state now so all these are basically inductive effect and mesomeric effect but steric effect also the last point if there is bulky substituent present that is inductive effect mesomeric effect that we have seen but suppose the groups are very large then obviously a uh, bond angle will be large and we know that for triplets bond angle uh, is high compared to singlet so that is why uh, bulky substituent broaden the carbene bond angle and as a result now triplet will be favored it will be now the ground state so in this uh, picture you can see the effect of substituents electronegativity on the ground state spin multiplicity so when it is r group is lithium both side then i am changing it to h and then i am changing it to fluorine so from lithium to hydrogen to fluorine that means gradually electronegativity is increasing so when it is lithium c lithium 180 angle then actually that rather than angle we have to focus more on this energy gap not just energy gap what is the ground state see here triplet is the ground state for hydrogen also triplet is the ground state another important fact this energy gap now it is less from 23 here you can see unit is given kilocalorie per mole from 23 now it is 11 and when it is fluorine now drastically there is some change 
Now AS is that is singlet is now ground state. So as it we have seen in the last slide that electron withdrawing group when present, singlet will be the ground state. So that you can see in this case. So ground state in this diagram it goes from triplet, then again triplet, then singlet. When we are moving from, we are changing the substituent from lithium to H to the most electronegative fluorine. Okay, so in this way we can understand how the effect uh, that is substituents is playing its role. So in this case it is electronegativity uh, of the substituent that is playing the role. Now some examples for triplet carbon. Here we have methylene that is the simplest carbon possible ACH then phenyl methyl methylene. That means as if 1H is now replaced by pH. Other side it is okay. Now both the groups are pH, diphenyl methylene and propargyl. So one side we have C triple bond CH group, another side H. So basically uh, all these are uh, alkyl group or that is phenyl group, these type of groups are present. Okay, no electron withdrawing groups are there. Now carbon with known singlet ground state. So now singlet is ground state. This type of example you will see methoxymethylene. One side we have methoxy group, another side H. So MeO, remember oxygen, it is electron, electron withdrawing, that is electronegativity is present and also it can donate lone pair, that, uh, that is pi donation is possible. Then chloromethylene, one side chloro, another side it is H and phenyl chloromethylene, one side pH, another side Cl. Now the fourth example, this is very interesting, uh, this is carbon and both sides, this type of groups are present and the groups are connected to each other. That is the groups are not, uh, that is individual, these groups are connected because there is a ring type of structure but N is present, that means electron withdrawing and also lone pair is present over nitrogen, so pi donation is also possible, okay. So that is all about this video, if you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe. In the next video, we will see how we can generate carbon, that is generation of carbon, okay. Thank you for your time. I will meet you in the next video.